This is a story called Hiding the Truth. A ten-year-old girl called Billy is living with her mum, stepdad and her baby sister Bobby. One night Billy wakes up and sees a man pouring oil all over the house. Then he sets the house on fire. As you can imagine, Billy is terrified. The man she saw was her stepdad. He escaped and disappeared. The only survivor from the fire was Billy. When she got out of the fire, she told the fire brigade that her mum and baby sister were still in there. The police asked her if she knew what had happened. She said, my stepdad did it. He poured oil everywhere and set it on fire. The policeman asked her, where's your stepdad now? I don't know. He was supposed to be at work last night, but I saw him light the fire. <coughs> When the police caught up with Billy's stepdad and they told him what had happened, he was very upset. They asked him where he was that night and he told them he was at work. He even got some of his workmates to back him up even though he was lying. He said to the police, My stepdaughter is a liar and a troublemaker. She has been from the start. She set one of our outbuildings on fire once on purpose. Our dog was in there and he died. Another time she locked her sister Bobby in one of the outbuildings in winter and wouldn't let her out. She was only three years old. She used to hit her mum in the face when she couldn't have her own way. She's really bad. She's a really bad child and she always has been. The police arrested Billy and she told them it wasn't her that started the fire and killed her mum and sister. It was her stepdad, Arthur. She also told them that all the stuff he'd said wasn't true. The police didn't believe her and neither did the judge when she went to court. The judge sent her to a young offenders institute for 10 years. The whole time she was in there, she stuck to the same story, but no one believed her. About eight years into her sentence, Billy was up in court to find out if she was going to be allowed out on parole. The judge said to her, Billy, you were sent to the Young Offenders Institute because you set fire to your home, killing your mum and sister. According to the staff, all you have done during your time there is cause trouble and fights. Therefore, I am sending you back to carry out the rest of your sentence. I only hope your behaviour improves. However, on their way back to the institute, the prison officer has a minor collision with another vehicle. The prison officer tells Billy to get out of the car and to run as fast as she can and she does. She finds a shop and buys a hair dye. She then goes into some toilets, cuts her hair and then dyes it. She then goes looking for her stepdad. When she finds him, she asks him why he set her up. He said to her, You deserve all you get, Billy. You have been nothing but trouble from the start. I didn't start that fire and kill my mum and sister. You did it, I saw you. Arthur grabbed Billy by her hair and throat and said, if you tell anyone that, I will deny it and then I will kill you. A few days later, Arthur spotted Billy again and he told her to make sure she kept her mouth shut or he'd kill her like he said he would. <coughs> then Billy saw a police car pull up and she ran off. The police went after her but they couldn't find her. She hid in an old unused house until they'd gone. She decided to stay there for as long as possible. After she'd been there a few days, she decided to go out and buy some food. As she did, Arthur pulled up in his car and dragged her in. He, he gagged her and then dragged her kicking and screaming into his house. He then told her, tied her up and beat her. As you can imagine, Billy was terrified. Then he began to pile petrol oil everywhere. However, what Arthur didn't know was that a neighbour had seen him dragging Billy in. They called the police and told them that ever since Arthur had lived there, there'd been quite a few fires and he'd done nothing but cause trouble. 
Another neighbour told the police that Arthur had threatened to kill him when he caught him trying to break into his shed. He also told them that Arthur came back later that night, set a rag on fire and put it through his letterbox. Not only did the man see him, but he'd installed CCTV and there was footage of Arthur committing his crimes on there. Arthur and Billy were arrested. Billy was arrested because she'd run away when being escorted back to young offenders. As expected, Arthur denied all the charges against him to the police and in court. He was found guilty of all his charges and sent to jail. Billy was cleared of the charges against her and she was awarded £6 million by the court and Arthur was ordered to pay her £80,000 and he was ordered to pay his other victims compensation too. Billy overcame her ordeal. She has now joined the police force, which is all she ever wanted. She ever wanted. All she has ever done. Wanted to do. She met and married her husband John. After, after she joined the police force, they've been married for ten years and they have eight kids together. And John has four from his first marriage, who have lived with him since her mum died of cancer. The end. Thank you. Bye.